Good morning everyone. I'm just going to do a flip through of my denim and lace journal. This was a design team project for Studio 28E. I will put a link to the kit that I used in the comments. I also used a pair of jeans, lots of coffee paper, dictionary paper, there's some matte paper and lace. So this cover ties as you can see it's quite chunky it's two signatures i think it's 72 pages um so the legs of the jeans were used to make the cover open it up you would have seen me make this pocket in another video so this is it just situated with a few little journaling cards i made some tabs to put on the page edges, they came from the hem of the jeans. Um, there's a lot of stitching in this journal. It's more or less. Oh, great fun making this. So you can see everything is well inked and stained and quite grungy on it. Uh, love the torn edges. Also left plenty of space for this to be added to, although it is quite thick, but I think there's still a little bit more room. Again, that's one of the envelopes you would have seen me make in another video. So I filled it up with cards and we open it up. Which is this sitting in here. Um, just a wee lace tab. You could set something in there. It will, it should hold it. Torn edges, a little tuck spot. These are just little clusters, little scraps, bits and pieces. Um, some lined paper for writing on. There, the tuck spot. Very grungy coffee paper in here. It is a beautiful kit to work with. And blue is not a colour that I would normally have worked with, but it was fun. Again, these little pockets, just scraps of card, all layered up. A few of the embellishments from the kit. It gives a nice grungy effect. These are little notebooks. Each of these little notebooks has 32 pages. It's small, but could be useful. There's two of those in there. And another one of the pockets you would have seen me make. I love the way these little tabs worked out. Really frayed hems on those jeans. They were well worn. I don't think they owed me anything. Some matte paper. So one of the little sort of Franken tags that I made up again. It's just scraps and a few embellishments to set it off. There's definitely room to add more stuff to this journal and there's plenty of writing spaces left. I didn't do anything to the line pages because um, I know some people like to write in their journals. All of these cards are backed up with coffee paper so that's another journal in spot. As I say there's two 32 page notebooks in there as well. So there's a lot of writing space here. And there's room to add more embellishments. Um, tag a card. Nice. 
and I did say I was going to use a pocket from the jeans, <laughs> which I have. So I just put a little embellishment on the front. So the pocket itself works. It's still a full pocket. And I haven't glued the top down, so you actually have two pockets. I've left it quite loose, so you can fit quite a little bit in there. And again, that's another one of the little notebooks. So. There's little eyelets to hold the ribbon. And I've put an eyelet in here, so a dangle could be added at any time. So it's quite thick. It's a soft covered journal. I think I showed you how I do those. I sort of score the card. It means that my spine is quite flexible and it moves. I just think it helps. And your journal is expanding. I think you would call this a crocodile mouth already. Thanks for watching.